Hi everyone, my name is Maisha and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. I don't know how on earth you found my little bitty channel, but thank you so much for coming. If you have subscribed already or this is not your first time here, thank you so much for coming back. Um, and if you if you are new here, please subscribe. If you, um, you know, if you like inconsistent content and um, <laughs> all the makeup, like seriously, I buy all the makeup, but anyway, uh, my name is Maisha and the channel is Ageless, Ageless Beauty and uh, I just wanted to, you know, I didn't want to waste this look in this outfit, honestly, because um, I had a Zoom birthday party to go to and I haven't really been dressed um, and in makeup and stuff for quite some time, at least a month. So I was like, well, I don't want to waste this look, so why don't we do a Black Friday haul? So that's what we're doing today. So... The first thing that I did get is these glasses that I need. These are readers and uh, they are by the brand Niho, Niho. Anyway, um, I got these glasses and I think I paid about 30 bucks for them and they're readers uh, one point five 1.5 yes so i just wanted something fun you know i mean this might be a little too fun like a little too much going on right here but we're gonna go with it today okay because you know there's yellow in the shirt there's i mean in the dress there's a lot going on here so we're just gonna go with it all right so the, i got a bunch of stuff here i have a, i'm gonna do my best look where i'm supposed to i have a bunch of stuff here and i just want to uh go over everything that i got different places i'll reference where i got them from um a lot of things that came with them I may or may not have because I may have given them as gifts already, you know? So the very first thing, I'm gonna save the best for last. So the very first thing is, let's go through what I, you know? Yes, so let's go through. I got this um, from Sephora. Uh, I got this. This is the Rare Beauty um, Detail Brush, or uh, what is it called? liquid touch it's a brush it's a concealer brush that's what it is it's a concealer brush and as you can see it's dirty because i used it for the first time today and i actually really did like it it's really soft you really do feel like you're um like it's your finger that you're using on your eyes so i actually really do like this um but this was the first thing that i got from um from rare beauty the second thing i got from rare beauty is the best in beauty um mini lip souffle matte cream this is on sale right now at sephora for 15 dollars, i believe this was like the best thing that i bought probably well no but it was the best value for sure and i want to say it's one of the best things i bought because when i do choose to wear anything lip which is rare because we don't go outside anymore but when i do choose to wear something like that i do choose these two here and I'm wearing this one on my lips now. So as you can see, this is like my lips are better with or my lips, but better. It's literally like the color of my lips. The red is actually really, really nice. I would put it on, but I think it would just be too much. So I don't want to, but I wear this all the time. It's really complimentary. It's like you get this blotted look. That's really, really pretty. So these are these two. And then I also got from Rare, Rare Beauty, I got the uh, Lip Souffle uh, Matte Lip Cream in the shade, oh, I didn't even tell you what the other two shades were, my bad, hold on. You know the problem. Y'all know I can't see. Yeah, I don't know what this is. We're not gonna try. We're not gonna try. Here's this one in this color. <laughs> But honestly, this color is a really strange on me. See, it, it's it's a color that I usually really, really like um, on my skin, but this is really just strange. It just looks funny on me. So I usually mix this in with the color that I have on right now. And it gives me a really pretty, um, like look, like I have to mix these. And I was gonna return it, but I can mix it. And I do like the formula, so we're just gonna do that. This is the second one, and this, this is the second one. You know, I don't know, I can't I can't read the shade name, so. 
If you ask, I'll let you know though. This one I actually really like, and this would have been good for today. This would have been a good color for today. Yeah, but this is pretty. This is pretty on its own too. So this is this, and then what else did I get from, um, so I'm just gonna go try to try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go through all the things at Sephora first. Um, I also got this from Laneige. Um, and this is their cream skin mist. Ooh, that's washing it out. Okay, cream skin mist. And y'all, I love this. Can you tell? Can you tell that I love this? I spray my face with this every day. I about to say even if I don't wash it, that's not true. I wash my face every day. But I spray this even if I don't do anything else. So I'll spray my Tower 28 SOS spray. Sorry, Audra. And my and then I'll spray this and be good if I don't want to do a, uh, a serum like if I'm running. But usually I try to do a serum. But this here is my boo. I love this so much. Mm. It's a toner and a moisturizer in one, like it says. And for me, like I used to have really really dry skin when I lived in Chicago, but out here my skin is still very very dry. But it's just a difference, and I don't know if it's it's hormonal or what. But I don't need nearly as much moisture as I used to. So this works perfect. Um, I also got this from Glow Recipe, Fruit Babies. So this is their Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, Watermelon Glow uh, Pore Tight Toner, Blueberry Bounce Cream Cleanser, Banana Souffle Moisture Cream, Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask, and Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. So all of these little minis are in here. Uh, and we like the babies, right? So yeah, this is what... It looks like so they're all minis and they look so cute so yeah i can't wait to try them the next thing that i got i think i got that from um let's see oh i also got this which is from pat mcgrath and this is her pat mcgrath lust lux lip balm <laughs> And it is in the shade Rose Fantasy because she puts labels on there that I can read. I mean, I can't read the ones off of her lipstick, but I can definitely read the ones off of the boxes. So, problem is I throw the boxes away. Maybe I should keep the boxes. Um, So this is what this looks like. Really cute, really bougie. I had no reason to buy this at all. Cause I have a ton of Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Max masks this is it it is really a hair I got an eyelash in there is that really try to show off your Pat McGrath and you got an eyelash in it is that how you roll there it is I got it out I have nothing to say about that other than Sorry, my eyelash fell in there as I was showing it to you probably because I don't open this. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, as you can see. Um, the next thing that I got was this here. And this is the the small um, perfume of the um, Atelier Cologne. And this is in Clementine, I believe, right? Nope, it's in Orange Sanguine. Orange Sanguine. And it, it smells... The weird thing about this one is when I first spray it, it sprays, it smells alcoholy, but then when it dissipates, it's a wonderful, like clementine smell. This is a beautiful smell. So I thought it was clementine just because, sorry, sprayed the wrong, uh, smell in the wrong side of my hand. Um, I thought it was clementine because to me it smells so much like clementine, but I do have the clementine one and I like that one as well. So these are some of my favorite perfumes right now. This Joe Malone. Yeah. So I think that is almost it from Sephora. I also got, I've got a lot from Sephora, y'all. So I got this and these are the Tower 28 Juicy All The Way Mini Lip Jelly Sets. Sorry, Audra. Um, I got this because everybody was ranting and raving about the lip gloss formula. And I really, really enjoy this. This is probably one of my one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. Like, 
it's up there with the gloss bomb um yeah i mean i gotta try luna beauty clearly but it's definitely up there with gloss bomb i'm sure there are other glosses that i really really like but those that's the one i can think of right now it's a thinner formula there's no sparkles i really 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 like this um the issue that i have with this be it this was only like 20 bucks right and i got the discount a 25 percent discount um the issue that i have with this is that sorry i'm too far over that way the issue that i have with this is that the only two that i can open is these two i can't open the two on the end i can only open these two so you can probably tell that i've used these two I haven't used these two because i can't so and i've have i've asked my 23 year old son and my 42 year old brother to help me open these and they cannot so if anybody has any tips on how i can get these open like unscrew them because they're screwed on so tight that a grown man can't open these and i'm sad because i really 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 want to play with these two i really want to use them because this is a really good formula but i'm not buying no more i'm not buying no more um and then the next thing i got is this here this candle is called unwind it's a sephora candle um it's scented of course and it's uh, basically like let's see a blend of black amber, vanilla, sandalwood, combined with pink berry and bourbon. I don't smell any of that. I smell lavender. It's okay. It's okay. This is how much it's burned. I need to trim the wick so I don't come for me. But this is how much it's burned so far. This is what the candle looks like on the um, outside. So it's really nice. Um, the only issue that I have with this is I can't already smell it. Like, I smell it just fine now when I, like, the cold throw is nice, you know, what, what, what it smells like when it's not lit. The cold throw is nice. It's just that, uh, when I light it, it's, I don't know. I don't know. So, that I'm not completely happy with. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy anymore. <laughs> but, I you know so and then let's see uh, the last thing i got from sephora was um did i get this from sephora yeah the bum bum body cream body scrub body scrub i've only used this like once so far in the shower maybe twice um it's all right i like it i mean for body scrub i like it i just it's it's not a lot in here i know it looks like a big box but it's really not a lot in there and i don't want to go through it so i'm not using it as much but i do like it i like the bum bum smell so i really like this all right next we got ColourPop. i bought the raw beauty, raw beauty christie collection so um i've already done i don't know if i did a look i had to look and see because i can't remember whether i did a look or anything with this i know i did but i don't know if i video if i um taped it so anyway this is what the palette looks like i mean who knew that color pop had such depth just saying look at these colors depth i love these colors these colors are awesome i have everything i could need in here including an inner corner highlight which some people were complaining they did they, 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 that there was not an inner corner highlight for them true but there's one for us I'm just saying, just kidding, y'all. Okay, so I got the palette, which I really, really like. And I also got one of the liners. I got the liner in um, the gold color. And this is what it looks like. And that's what it looks like on my hand. And I do like that. I used it. And I don't use eyeliner much, but um, I thought it would be fun to add a pop of color to my very, very basic looks. I also got this Super Shock Shadow in my Mycelium. Yes, Mycelium. It's a Super Shock Shadow, which I love. And I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. There it is. So it's a topper shade, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Like I could put that all over my lid and walk out the door. Like that's really pretty. So I do like that Super Shock Shadow. Um, and I believe that is everything that I got from Sephora. Now, 
Ulta. Um, I'm sure this is not all I got from Ulta, but I got this from Ulta. Um, it's the Daily Concepts Washa Jade Tool. Uh, and it comes in a package like this. And it looks like that. And basically you use it on your face to drain, uh, to do lymphatic drain. It actually works really well. I like it a lot. It also works really well when I have headaches um, and I can kind of massage my head. Oh, I forgot, ColourPop. One more thing, cause you know, ColourPop is never just one thing, right? It's always one more thing. So I was really, really, really intrigued by the Baroque palette. So the Baroque palette looks like this, the, the packaging, the unicarton looks like this. And I was really, uh, taken with this because it's dark and again we're not used to color pop doing depth so when i saw this palette and i still have the plastic on it was just love at first sight like i feel like these colors are going to look amazing on me whenever i finally use them and i wanted to use it today but it didn't match my look so they went that all right um i also got the trend move box uh the mystery box and the reason i did that is because i've never got in a trend move box and I figured whatever came in there I'd be happy with because it wouldn't be any repeat items for me because I've never gotten a trend move box and I know that I don't really have a lot of the things that are in the trend move boxes so a couple of things that I really really enjoyed in the trend move box um is this by glow recipe we know I like them uh plump plump plum plump hyaluronic acid <laughs> plump plump hyaluronic serum there we go. <laughs> so it's hyaluronic acid serum, and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Um, I really enjoy this. Uh, it smells amazing. So looking forward to using this more. But I'm going through a Cos RX uh, hyaluronic acid so serum. So I'm I I think I'm gonna wait to use this, but I can't wait to use it. I'm really excited. Uh, I also received something else that I'm looking forward to using that was in the trim new box is the anti-stress CBD drops and this is for your face at first glance I'm like is this a like that drop onto your tongue stuff but it's not a tincture it's a um it's a face serum and I tried it and I really like it it calms my skin down I didn't think my skin needed calming down I really didn't I really didn't didn't even know I needed this and then I put this on it makes my skin feel calm. I don't even know how to explain it, but it just makes me go, you know, it just brings me down. So I really like it. Uh, the other thing that I got uh, is I also get the uh, Copacetic. Um, I get the Copacetic mystery boxes every month. The subscription box, not mystery box, the subscription box. And two of the things that came, well, I got a lot in there, but two of the things that I'm really, oh no, really excited about that I got I'm sorry, I just got some stuff on my dress. Um, it's the pumpkin cream mask. <laughs> I can wash the dress, no big deal. Pumpkin cream mask. I mean, you know, this is the one thing they don't tell you about YouTube is that you literally get makeup everywhere, like everywhere. Jesus. Okay, I got this pumpkin cream mask and I haven't tried this yet, but I'm really, really uh, looking forward to trying it. And it's the kind where it pops up and down, like you twist it and it pops up. I really like this. I can't wait to try this. And then I also got this, which is their quad. So this is the third quad that I've received and the third mystery box, maybe, or the second mystery box. Let's see. Oh, it's called the Fall Harvest Palette. Um, uh, open it. Okay. And these are the shades. Well, I guess I could do it this way since there's no mirror. These are the shades. And you have cinnamon spice, butternut squash is over here, um, pinot noir is here, and hot cider is here. As you can see, I have tried these two shades. No, I've tried this shade here. It is extremely flaky and beautiful. And I'm not gonna play with it because you like need a glitter glue or uh, you need a glitter glue. So I'm not gonna play with this um, right now because it'll fall everywhere. Okay, almost done. Um, the next thing is I placed an order for Ritual Defeat. This, now the Tower 28 is people's fault. Like, 
you know, Karen Harris. But Ritual Defeat is Audra at Home. So if you haven't checked out Audra at Home, please check her out. She does the most amazing looks. I have this on my, my cheeks, although not sure if you can tell because I'm basic and I don't have on a whole lot, but maybe we'll add some more. Let me show you this. This, this is what it look, the box looks like. And this is amazing. I just gotta open it, sorry, without breaking nails. We've seen that already. No need to see that again. So, this is what the package looks like. Sorry, see my ring light there? And when you open it, it looks like this. And it is a highlighter, y'all. This is simply amazing. Sorry, I had to look at that. But when I bought this, the first thing I did was swatch it on my hand and continue to look at it on my hand for the rest of the day. Look at this. I don't know if the camera is picking up all of the, all of the uh, different shifts, but it's amazing. It is amazing. It is amazing. Audra, thank you. I got this for the 25% off or whatever they were, 30% off, whatever they were having off. I got this for like $31 and that's including tax and shipping. So I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to use. I just want to put it all over my face. Like seriously, it's so pretty. Oh, I said we might use it, didn't I? And I didn't we use it. Did we? Okay. So opening it back up, some on my finger. And what I did earlier was I put some on my finger and then I um, blended it out with with a brush but that side is picking it up like you can see that side really well and it's just so gorgeous wow okay sorry I, I, I'm sorry I had to do that that's so pretty okay the next thing I got back with the glasses is I got forever mood candles yes I did yes I did now um, I couldn't, that's not true. Hold please. Okay, so I I didn't wanna buy um, like the set of all big candles because I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like them all. They seem really sweet and I really wasn't sure. I like sweet, but not sickly sweet. So I wasn't really sure. So I bought the mini because, you know, I still wanna support Jackie Ina and um, I love candles. So it's a win-win for everybody. And the way they work is you open the candles up and they look like this. You can see I've been using them. So the one that's missing is called Hey Big Kid. And you can see how much I've used because I really, really like this. You can see. Yeah, I really like this. And then we have, and then the, the inscription says, um, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, or in your bathroom, you decide. XOXO, Jackie Ina. Um, and then we've got my favorite candle. It's Grown Folks Business, and this is what it looks like. You see how much I burned. Um, and then we also have We Not Lincoln, which is this one. <laughs> you can see how much I burned. I should have just bought like all four of the big ones because yeah so the last one is skinny dipped and it looks like this and I haven't burned very much at this one this is probably my least favorite to be honest because I think that's one that has like that co some coffee smell to it and I love coffee but just not in a candle so much um so hey big head no hey big head I enjoyed uh, grown folks business so much that I went and purchased the full size. Yes, I did. And right now it's decoration because I'm still burning through the other candles, but. See, it's brand new, haven't burned it yet. 
it is so 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 it smells so good and i'm gonna see if i can see the notes on here grown folks business and it says oh it doesn't give us the notes or anything it just tells us how to burn it so that's that and yeah that is everything from my black friday haul um i have the other things from the trim box I am giving away to uh, my cousin for Christmas. Uh, she will love them. So I'm re-gifting a couple of those. Copacetic, I'm re-gifting a couple of those uh, things that were in there too. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to show you all. That is not the end of my haul. I apologize if you thought that I was letting y'all go. The last thing I got is single shadows, y'all. Davina, Davina, Davina. Okay, so. I'm just gonna show y'all all of my single shadows, but then I'll point out the ones that are new. So these are my single shadows. These are literally all of my single shadows. I have a, I have a baby collection of single shadows. I have a baby collection of makeup actually compared to some of the other YouTubers, but I have these many shadows. So the shadows that were previously in here were these here. These are my JD straight across, including this one is my JD Glow. These are my JD Glow Cosmetics. And then these here that you see with the nice swirls in them, those are um, MBA Cosmetics. And I found them on Etsy and I really, really like them. And, I, and they're on uh, Instagram as well, MBA Cosmetics. And these over here are my Copacetic singles, which I absolutely love. And I know these two look a lot alike, but they're really not. And then these five, one, two, yeah, are my Davina. One, two, three, four, five. It's just where I could where I could get them in at. And the color that I'm wearing on my eyes today is this color here, which is y'all gonna make me look gallus, maybe. Ah, it's gonna be hard to hold up, so I'm not gonna try because I don't want to break my shadow. But yeah, these are my shadows, and then also in the trim move box, we got two Tatcha masks, but I already used one of them. But yes, these are my single shadows and these are my newest collection um from Davina that I got over Black Friday I got the entire set for $40 um and then I got a discount on that I don't remember the discount but it's probably 20 25 percent um and then the very last thing <laughs> y'all like what I got nails I got nails from Nails Inc as you can see my nails are just whatever and I decided you know I wanted to look prettier I don't know why but I did and Audra at home, Emily Han Han, these nails are your fault. I mean, these are the most basic nails I could get, as you can see. Really like them. I got these from Nails Inc. for $10. All the sets I'm going to show you, which I only got three sets. That's the first one. It was $10. This is the second set, which I really love. If I had somewhere to go New Year's Eve, I would go. Put these on. And then the last set. The last set is these, which I really like because they're sparkly. But I have yet to put anything on yet. So um, because I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to function in nails. Like that is what I'm afraid of. So if you all have tips, please let me know. Um, but yep, that is it. That is it for my Black Friday haul. Um, I probably won't have a haul for a long time just because I am now unemployed and I don't have the money to buy all these things, but I did have money for a minute. So I bought all these things when I still had it before I knew I was going to be unemployed. So, um, yeah, that's it for my haul. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining. Please like and subscribe. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what you got for Black Friday. Let me know if you got any of these things for Black Friday. If you want to try any of these, these things for Black Friday. Um, let me know if you want to know what's on my face. I could do that. I, even though I told you Davina's on there. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Uh, I even did my hair today, y'all. Put myself in a little puff. Um, and my puff is brought to you by Puff Cuff. So I don't know if you've all heard of Puff Cuff, but it's really interesting. So what I have is a little, um, it's a banana clip, but it's round. And then I have another banana clip sitting on top of it. And it is what makes my 
puff so high because otherwise it's low in, in my face, you know? So yeah, um, just wanted to give a shout out to Puff Cuff too. But yeah, that's it, that's all I got. Um, please have a wonderful day, weekend, night, whatever um, you're having. Um, I also want to let you know that whatever you're going through this holiday season, you're not alone. Uh, I'm one of those people that get really sad during the holidays and I have seasonal um, depression because I miss my mom. I miss so many people actually. Um, I have a lot of loss, I'm an only child. Um, I have one child here with me, which is nice, and the other one's um, in another state. So, you know, um, it's hard. But I uh, just want to let you know that you're not alone, okay? And uh, anything you want to leave a comment about in the comments, please do. And until next time, bye YouTube.